What's up, podcast listeners? Shout out to Brian Gara from the Rocket Network for putting this one together. This is a wrap up after storytelling for business, our live event, speaking to some of the participants, sharing some of their takeaways, what are they going to use in their business, and some of the gold that you might be able to use in your business as well. Brian, thanks so much for putting this together. We love it when our audience helps us with content. I think you're going to enjoy this and get a lot of value. Enjoy the episode. Let's get down to business. And now some words from some members of the audience. Thanks, guys, for stepping in the studio today. Um, We're just talking about the storytelling show that Nathaniel just put on. If I could have you both just introduce yourselves. Yeah, so my name's Neil Gibb and I'm from the HMO Property Co. Uh, we are residential developers. We specialize in affordable accommodation. Awesome. Welcome. Thank you. My name is Ken Ho and I'm from Kairos Business Solutions. I'm a ERP consultancy or my company does ERP consultancy and what we do is we help businesses get the most out of their business systems. Okay. So you both have a lot to learn here today, didn't you? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's really good. And is this your first time seeing Nathaniel speak? I, it's now my second time I've seen him. I've only just come across him on LinkedIn. I've only just started using LinkedIn. And I think that's probably why I've just come across him now. But uh, the content that he delivers is pretty good. And that's what's brought me here tonight. Yeah, he's very active on LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's the first time for for me to meet Nathaniel and uh, come to WeWork actually. And I've already been researching Nathaniel on LinkedIn and his YouTube channel and stuff. Right, right. And you can see all of his previous talks on the YouTube as well. Yeah. Um, but I would say the best bits are on LinkedIn. So you can really just surf his LinkedIn page and and get all the good the good stuff, and then go back into topics you really like. Yeah. This yeah. Uh, the hashtag uh, AskNet. This is actually really good. I can see all his content from the last couple of weeks and uh, all the tips that he has. Yeah, the the hashtag system on LinkedIn is much more efficient than Instagram, yeah, just it because it's not so um, watered down. Yeah, I guess uh, if you if you go ask now on Instagram, I bet it would be billions of people posting that. So yeah, yeah just yeah. not even worth it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yeah. What was the biggest thing you guys took away from the talk today? Storytelling specifically um so i'm pretty active on uh, i'd say i'm pretty active compared to nathan i'm very non-existent on social media but we we post quite a few of our projects and um what we learned through the projects and the results that we've got from the projects that we've done so we push quite a lot of that through facebook and it gets quite a bit of traction and i've been using linkedin for probably the last three to four months and haven't been getting the traction that i've been wanting to get or this brought me to the event tonight and Although it wasn't just focused on LinkedIn in general, I think the content of how to to write the story and curate the story itself. But, I mean, I took four pages worth of notes there, so it's super important. Yeah, yeah. And what what do you think you learned most from today? Or okay, so I've just started my company not long ago, so I'm still building my brand. And what really resonate with me here is I need to tell a story instead of give, giving out just facts because I'm a technical person or I come from a technical background and everything to me is facts. I like to say that oh you can do this in this time and this is how much you have to pay but it doesn't sound like uh, people want that they want to feel good about it so it needs to be more of if you do this what will you get at the end of it and how it will help you and your company and your, your customers. Right. So right. I, yeah, that's my biggest takeaway telling a story and letting them feel good about it. In showing what your customers or what your successful clients have done, yeah, like uh, curating that that selection of your best clients or the best results, and showing everyone that is good for your own brand and it's good for their brands. Yep, that's sure really is. a lot of cross promotion there. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. Yeah, and um, what what do you think you'll do tomorrow or within the next two days based on what you learned today? <laughs> well, I'm going to go back and review all the content that I've posted over the last probably two months and just see what, I've, what I could have done differently and what I will do differently in the future moving forward. And I'm probably due a video on Facebook and LinkedIn, so I'll, I'll probably try and put something together that's um, based around what we learned tonight. You can just post anything. Just do it. And if yeah. you don't like it, delete it. Yeah, I think that's, that's the problem. I have been posting stuff, but I, haven't, I obviously haven't been hitting the correct um, metrics that Nathan provided tonight. Yep. So I'm yep. going to try and build a story around 
the actual project that we're talking about rather than just waffle on about what we did, how much money we spent, and how much we made, yep, etc. Yep. Yeah, because the, the customers, the potential customers, need to know not what you've put into it, but what they can get out of it. Hmm. I mean, it's all sales. Yeah. All sales. If you treat social media like Nathaniel does or like a lot of people in the room do, it's just a sales pitch. Mm -hmm. All of it's a sales pitch, and they're just you're pushing them down your funnel yeah. to whatever's next. That's really good. Nice. Yeah. What do you think you'll do tomorrow or the next few days? Yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is try to write a story behind what I'm providing, you know, so that uh, customers can relate to it instead of saying, oh, I provide a solution. It needs to be more of why do you use us and what are the outcome that you'll get from us through, through a story. Right, right. What do you think your story will look like? Uh, I'm not sure yet, but the idea is more about um, if you use us, we will be able to help you get more of our business systems. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, it's a bit tough if you've just started because yeah. you don't have the results don't have just the stacked stories. up. Yeah. But what you can do is go through people who post things like you would yeah. and kind of draw from their story and start there. Okay. Be a really good spot to start. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll do that. Well, thanks, guys, for coming in and um, hope to see you at the next one. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Cheers. Hi, guys. Welcome to the studio from after the show of Nathaniel's storytelling at WeWork here. If you could just go around and introduce yourselves. Go ahead, uh, Morgan. Okay. Uh, my name's Morgan. I'm a photographer and content creator and a digital marketer. Yeah, I actually shoot content for Nathaniel. Yeah, I attend these WeWork meetups with him just to shoot some content for him and the people that attend. The biggest takeaway that I got from today's talk was not talking about yourself so much when it comes to content. And it's talking about the problems and what the customer is going through and how you can help them solve the problem. So I kind of knew a little bit about that, but how Nathaniel explained it really sort of drilled it in just a little bit deeper. Like it gave me more clarity on the stuff that I've read and watched before. So definitely in the next 48 hours, I'll be reviewing what I have been doing already and then how I can change what I have been doing to go in a different direction to serve the customer more than what I already am. So, yeah. Well, I mean, this whole industry, digital marketing, is all customer-based. Yeah. And you're just pushing people down the sales wherever they go and wherever they do. You want another client out of this. Yeah. So it's really important, yeah, to just tell your story and, and get it out there for everyone to see. I think you do it pretty well uh, through your stories, definitely. Oh, I yeah. mean... I'm, I'm very super self-critical, so mm. <laughs> especially on my own stuff. So it's just, I don't see it, but I mean, if other people sort of see it, then that's awesome. But I always think that there's room for improvement, no matter what I do. Yeah, that's so. good. That's that's the professional level I think these guys are at as well. Yeah. It's just push, push, push. I know Q is just nonstop um, grinding, grinding all the time, and that <laughs> results show. So all in the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that brings us to Quentin. Um, you want to introduce yourself and um, what brought you here? Yeah, guys, my name is Quentin Tufoa. Um, I have a podcast where I interview millionaires. The reason why I was, came here to Nathaniel's uh, storytelling is I really need work on that part of my presenting on, on, that, on that platform, on my social media platforms. And I know that everyone has a story to, to tell, but a lot of it for me just comes down to clarity and what I've taken away from today's sit down is really just um in terms of content is letting the market um organize the content let the market decide what content it's instead of me just sitting there and trying to figure it all out yep ask the question guys what do you want to hear what who do you want to listen to or who do you want to listen from or what um constant or what content inspires you guys in terms of what message or what what, what do you want what do you guys want to hear yep um so that's my biggest takeaway and implementing that now that i've taken a photo of nathaniel's template of working calendar and mm -hmm. uh, content calendar i'm going to implement that and really just design my own content calendar making sure that um no more spontaneous spontaneous <laughs> posts and last minute posts which are really renowned to do so yeah um clarity taken away from that and organization is my takeaway nice 
yeah, organization is definitely something I'm working on still yeah. as well. <laughs> I think we all suck at organization. Yeah. <laughs> mm. um, Ed, you want to? Yeah, hi. Uh, Ed K. Smith from Online Impact. We're a digital marketing agency based in Australia, based in Perth, where I founded the company 17 years ago, which is getting scary. Uh, <laughs> before digital marketing was digital marketing. Um, I've come along to uh, always learn more uh, in, the, in the realm of social media. Uh, I don't believe you know it all. You've got to come and experience different things from different people and get a different take on maybe some things you get too close to. And because I'm in this space and I'm dealing with it with clients all the time, um, I think I always need a refresh and a, and a, a different viewpoint. And uh, Nathaniel's very close to what's going on on a daily basis and he's always posting and he's in my feed 75 times a day. <laughs> uh, so he's obviously doing something right. Um, so that's one of the reasons I've come along. But I think ultimately uh, what I've been seeing tonight and I agree with Quinton on having the, the planner for the social media content because I haven't been planning uh, as I should be. So that's one thing that I'll be implementing. Uh, another thing which seems very logical now because I've been podcasting for 12 years was... Uh, to, to take the content that I've got, in particular uh, video content, but the same with audio content, and uh, just cutting it up for repurposing that content to have much more to be able to post on a, on a daily basis using uh, one hour's worth of video. Potentially there's a 20, 30 pieces of content that can come out of that one video. Seems very obvious, but sometimes you need the obvious pointed out to you. So. Um, yeah, so always keen to learn more and uh, Nathaniel's got some great stuff to share and he's at the coalface of it, hence the reason I'm here. So do you think you'll be posting more of your stuff onto LinkedIn? Oh, definitely more into, into LinkedIn. I've been uh, picking up my activity on LinkedIn, writing articles, uh, but there's always more to do. Uh, but the new podcast that we're doing at Online Impact, we're, we're interviewing uh, people globally who have uh, a strong online impact with their businesses and what they're doing uh, that is in a video and audio format so it works perfectly for splitting that content up not just as the original whole podcast so that's, nice. that's a big one for me nice and uh, just quick to wrap up um, what do you think you guys do in the next couple of days to change I know we kind of touched on it but specifically one thing that you took from tonight um, I'd probably do more in-depth market research into who I really want to target. Like, as Nathaniel spoke about niching down, like, as much as possible. So, definitely, we'll be doing that and organization. Nice. All right, Quentin? I'm, I'm just going to go against the grain um, with my posts, I think. I think um, Nathaniel mentioned that if you're a comedian, you'd kill it on LinkedIn. I'm not saying I'm a comedian, but I... <laughs> that was I, pretty I, funny. I, I'm yeah. a funny man. Though, yeah. <laughs> but I, I like to have fun. I'm not all, yeah. like a, I'm not all business. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a family man. I also like to mock people as well. I also like to take it as well. So I'm um, just going to try something different on LinkedIn and see where that goes. Nice. And Ed? Uh, spending much more time on crafting the this, this story. Uh, so it has a much stronger focus um, completely away from me and towards uh, potential clients and, and, and people I'm trying to attract uh, and planning that content out with the planner is definitely a thing I'll be doing now nice nice all right well thanks guys for coming in and no um, no thanks Brian hopefully see you at the next event definitely for sure all right thanks, cheers guys.